Atlanta Falcons number one receiver Julio Jones did not practice yesterday and is coming off back-to-back -back scoreless weeks where the All-Pro didn't top 55 yards in either of those games. Picking up the slack is tight end Austin Hooper, who is fantasy's number one tight end and averaging 7.5 grabs for 93 yards over that same two-game stretch. Take Hooper's reception total of four and a half and hit the over as the Atlanta tight end has cleared that mark four times this year and the Arizona Cardinals have allowed that number to be cleared four times as well. Russell Wilson has thrown the ball over 29 times just twice this year but has still tossed 12 TDs, zero interceptions and is completing 73% of his passes and has the second lowest odds to win the MVP. With the Browns showing the world how well they can stop the run, Look for the Seahawks to lean on the ground game versus the Browns, who are surrendering 6.5 yards per carry over their last three games. Take Wilson's under 30 and a half pass attempts. Dolphins quarterback Josh Rosen put together two non-disastrous starts before his week five bye. The team only put up 16 points, but did manage to score their first offensive touchdown this year. Getting most of Rosen's attention is receiver Preston Williams, who has 19 targets for 8 grabs and 114 yards in his last two games. Look for Preston to go over his receiving total of 54 and a half yards as Washington is allowing 78 yards a game to the team's number two wide receiver. Well, there you have it. For more NFL odds, matchups, and analysis, head over to Covers.com, follow us on Twitter at Covers, and follow me, Josh Ingles, at Ingles underscore Josh4. And be sure to download and test out the new Covers Live app for bet tracking, line updates, sweat alerts, and more. Get your new mobile sports betting manager today and bring your sports bets to life.